Uh, I just have one last question for you, right? Which is yeah. uh, so much change uh, in Jalan Kayu over the years. Um, what do you think is the heritage of Jalan Kayu? I would say soft and hard. I hope people don't take offense to what I'm going to say. Because many, many years ago, I did write, can't remember exactly to which organization it was then, many years, many years, is to preserve Jalan Kayu, not every part of it, just the main road stretching from uh, about 100 meters and 50 meters either side. Yes, and leave it and keep that old building, redevelop everything around it, but just keep it and keep the old history alive. Now, when you walk in, the history of Jalaki will invite you. You can see those places. I did mention that, I uh, can't remember which SHP report I wrote to, this could be about 40, maybe even before that, 40 years ago, maybe longer than that, maybe longer. Uh, I, did, I, I did mention about that place mm. and also mention about Changi because I used to visit Changi as well. I did mention about the three bases to preserve and Chongpang village. I put that down as well. I still remember writing that, but thankfully now certain parts are being preserved. That's good now because heritage is history about the nation, you know. So I think we should keep part of it. Although we are a land scarce country, try ways and means to preserve it. And uh, the heart, although part of Jalanka is being preserved, uh, although they have destroyed the old shop houses, the new shop houses, the later shop houses are still there, I hope they can convert the uh, double-story building, which is unused now, into a museum, mm. you know, Jalanka Museum, and get people to contribute their artifacts, old photographs, whatever it is, to convert that building into an uh, artifacts area. And I also like to suggest those days there was a lot of cherry trees around. I don't know whether you cherry trees in along the roads from a shelter for the Sarabak stores. Hopefully they'll plant these heritage trees within that premises area so that whole area becomes Jalankayu and you can have your information counter outside like a Sarabak store doing such a way that it is an information counter and people can go in and see what Jalankayu was that they can do that. So I think that is the hard part of Jalankayu they can preserve if they wish to. The other one which are to me is Jalankayu uh, is how the people who live in Jalan Kayu and that the Kampung spirit, even today, can be seen in people who have left the place. Okay. Uh, last year, I was invited to give a brief speech about Jalan Kayu to the residents of Jalan Kayu, the new Jalan Kayu residents, mm. organized by Jalan Kayu CCRC. And when I spoke about Jalanka, you, you can see the, the response from the people who stayed in that region, you know. And you can see the, uh, the glow in their face and how happy they were to hear about old Jalanka, you. So that is, I don't know how it can be preserved. So you can put all this stunning commentary and put together and record it and leave it in this double story building when people come they can just play it and hear it you know that this is my two requests for Jalan Kayu I couldn't have said it better myself the heart and the soft heritage of Jalan Kayu the double story building is currently uh, unused is that right? unused that's okay. right that's right that's quite strange right? yeah it's fenced off I hmm. don't know what the plans are hopefully some common sense will prevail to keep our heritage there. Yeah, um, and, and time is not on our side, right? You don't know what would happen to these buildings, shop houses. 
On your side, you are able to do that. If not, maybe on a separate way you can let me know. I can write to the proper authorities and tell them my proposal, whether we need to accept or not, I don't know. And I'm just hoping that this one you can edit in be down. Uh, my book has been sent to the president. Mm. Uh -huh. I hope he reads it. They have that two other books written about Seta Hills and all that. Uh, they sent three books to him. Uh, one of them is my book. Hopefully he reads it. Uh, hopefully it triggers him. And ho hopefully I get a chance to speak to him. Mm. And I'll share my view of this to him.